Hey Print Hustlers, Luke from Printavo here. I've got a cool video from ISS Long Beach back in January. You know, watching some of these videos is pretty hard now given how much the world has changed in just a month, but I think it's still worth watching because there's a lot of value in seeing just how positive people were, how they felt about their business, and how hard they've been pushing to, you know, really find some success and really find something that reflected their values. So check it out. We asked them all the same questions. This question is, uh, what was the biggest win of 2019? Enjoy. So the biggest win for Oklahoma Share Company in 2019 was one of the like goals that I had when I started the business. We have a professional basketball team, and so when the Thunder go to the playoffs, um, they they put a T-shirt on every single seat in the entire arena, and so that's kind of that's the biggest job that there is in Oklahoma City, and one of the most like uh, seen jobs. And so we got to do it this year. We won. Uh, we got a relationship with the Thunder. The boys went to the playoffs, and we got to print 26,000 shirts. Um, and we had to turn it around in about 36 hours and we did it and then for game two we did it again and so uh, that was a win and it looks like our, if our boys will keep it together we'll go to the playoffs again this year and we'll probably get the opportunity to do that again and that's just such a it's such a cool and a big win personally but also organizationally for Oklahoma Share Company. We got to do the brand Everlink. It's our clients and they did a, a big expo in the New York Times about the importance of, of truth and in journalism and in the world at large and we got to print all the, the the swag for that so it was really cool to be a part of like a you know a larger message that they were sending to the world just to be like a small part of that we felt really satisfying so i joined one percent for the planet um this this last year in may um we're the first people in rockford to do that and i think focusing more on the community and trying to do more donations um giving back to the community with with our name recognition now so using that for the force of good uh, I think that's been a really good feeling. Being able to really watch a lot of our internal people step up and also just for us feeling like maybe we are in the right direction, that we have people who are really bought in and they're really kind of part of this bigger message that is out there as opposed to we get it, it's a job. You know, it's, it's a job for us too. But I think being able to really see people like step up and share the responsibility and want to kind of carry that message be really proud I mean two of our, our our best employees that you know we're able and lucky to be able to bring out here at ISS that they you know James like one of our, our main production managers was just he was so hyped on just being able to come out here and be part of it to represent Robo Creative as a company and we forget those things that is like yeah we, we do that we do that all day long but I think that 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 really kind of resonated with me that is like there's somebody here that is you know really kind of behind what we're doing and, and again hopefully that means that we're doing something positive and trying to stay on those paths pick the things that like we're doing well and like amplify them obviously get rid of the stuff that we're doing poorly um, but yeah I'm, I'm pretty excited about that for me personally being able to finally leave my full-time job to focus on let's print you know full-time taking my designer to be in from part-time to full-time full-time employees a new space um, and just a, a, a cool team we are very fortunate that we're able to kind of travel and still run our company from you know from our laptops and we did a lot of traveling last year and it was just really cool to be able to like it was scary but it was really cool to, to know that you are able to leave your work at home and go somewhere else and live your life a little bit and then come back and it's still there so i guess it's just exciting to know that even though it's hard to leave it's always great to also be able to come back and know that everything is still there all the internal processes that we made it through without losing our minds, all the trainings and knowledge bases that we're all taking jobs and breaking down. So training becomes a lot more uh, consistent. All that stuff that is not what you're thinking about when you buy your first speedball kit in your basement. Right. Uh, thinking about HR and how you're gonna treat your employees. and Benefits. And benefits. All, all the fun stuff. All the fun stuff, but it's kind of cool to have you know, to be in this paperwork world and be like, oh man, I actually have to make paperwork for this thing that we built. So I, I think that's amazing what we put together. We moved into my shop uh, three years ago after my father died. I didn't expect to even be profitable. I didn't expect to even be in business. We moved in with 12 heads. I had a tenant with an eight color. We kicked them out. We got one 14 color, then we got another 14 color, and then we got a 10 color. All the machine is mint, and uh, everything's 
beautiful, running well, and uh, we got a new exposure unit from Ryanet. Um, I, and I can't be happier when it comes to production. Um, I live the dream. Getting our second auto, so now we have two sportsmen's running, but I image Unicode fully automating our screen room. Finally making that plunge was like going from, you know, like starting to look at the big leagues a little bit. Um, so that's probably the most exciting part. Actually, what? wait, hold on. It was 2019 that Steven Printavo got engaged in our ah. right Okay, so never mind all of that. Yeah, I was most excited about that. <laughs> the fact that we could share that moment, that was super cool. I mean, you know, they, that's a whole message in, in itself, but yeah, I mean, And that was a double win because I got a free dog. Uh, an English bulldog walked in my shop during uh, Steven's engagement thing and was laying on the floor and everyone was playing with it and they're like, your dog's awesome. I'm like, that's not my dog. I still got him. He's a massive bulldog. We named him Jablonski. We moved into a new location, which is awesome. Um, you know, we had uh, issues. One of the biggest, I guess, detriments this year was, was turnover. Uh, we had to bring in a whole new print crew and that felt like the sky was falling at a certain point. but. You know, we were resilient and, and we did our due diligence and we brought in a great new team. And within the last year, I'd say the last, the biggest wow moment was saying like, if we can learn how to do screen printing, we can learn how to build software. We can learn how to uh, see how technology can help our customers and really package that together uh, with what we already knew with screen printing and uh, other decoration techniques and uh, really just like provide more of a service and increase our value so we're not being commoditized, you know, we can we can charge what we need to do within reason, but we're not bottom of the barrel, we're not scraping by, we're, we're actually able to hold our ground on our pricing and say, listen, yes, we're, we know we're, we're more expensive, but you know, we are going to provide this value to you that's more than money can, you know, really give you. Participating in the industry, right, getting out of the shop, that was the big goal for the year, and we did it. It's our third show, and I got a bunch of new friends and people in the industry and 2020 is going to be a real fun year to just go and finish digesting, finish processing it and implement the hell out of some stuff and we're just super, super grateful for the opportunity to get out and learn. Hiring a videographer to uh, document everything that we do in the studio, you know, like those two things has just taken my social media to a whole new level. Me spending the money and uh, the focus on delegating those things to them. Um, yeah, that was the biggest win this year. The end is never the end, you know? As long as you're willing to work really hard and put in the time and put in the effort, anything is possible.